بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما the next thing we'll talk about something called uh, number distribution like i said we if you need to get a public ip we will be getting a public ip from service portal and the service portal gets from aina aina.org so basically what exactly aina is aina stands for internet assigned number authority that's an abbreviation it's a non profit uh, american uh, corporation probably it oversees the allocation of your ip addresses like especially for public ips for either it is ip version 4 or ip version 6 so we have discussed about ip version 4 already and also the autonomous system numbers autonomous system numbers is actually a global number used for identifying one organization so when we get into routing topics i'll be talking more on autonomous system number in details and also some other protocol parameters including the dns uh, management dns root management options so basically they are responsible for managing these things okay so here if you if you just talk about uh, ip address allocations or all these allocations it will maintain so aina is operated by internet corporation for assigned names and numbers that's a there's something maintained by and this aina is going to delegate all the address blocks address blocks are all these things basically to rirs so rir stands for regional internet registries now these are like rirs uh, basically the job of the rir is to allocate these addresses whatever is given is to different areas of the world like here there are five rirs we have something like afri erin 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 actually stands uh, we'll see this basically there is something called africa region this africa basically this is an african region and similar way we have asia pacific region that is another rir regional internet registries and again erin is basically looking after canada us mostly in the uh, european countries and then you have latin america region and then we have some europe middle east central asia uh, different region so we call uh, basically we call them as rirs these rirs allocates the addresses in different parts of the world So if you visit this uh, URL, basically aina dot org, that's an official website uh, to look for. Generally, here you can see the allocation here. These are the five different regions, and if you click on these URLs, you can go to the specific uh, specific uh, website of those particular areas. So if I go to these regions, you can even open up that. So basically, what they are responsible for? So Aina is responsible for assigning the addresses in a hierarchical manner. So basically, they assign the addresses to these RIRs. So again, you can see these are the specific websites uh, to reach those specific RIRs. So these RIRs, what they do is they they are responsible for delegating or these addresses to the regional service providers uh, generally. like if you see the hierarchy of aina and rir aina is going to delegate these blocks uh, blocks of addresses whether it is an ipv4 address or ipv6 address or autonomous system number basically they will be allocating them to rir like here you can see there are uh, different options here now again from this rir there is this is each rir uh, will get some blocks of addresses from aina and this block is further divided in that region allocated to different isps so generally isps uh, isps as well as uh, it can be either isps or it can be something called uh, national internet registries or even local local internet registries you can say so local internet registries uh, refers to specific some service providers or isps or even some kind of enterprise companies or maybe some academic institutions basically these they all come under this category so uh, typically the naming wise we call them as uh, local internet registries from there it reaches the end user so which means if if the end user requires a public ip let's say so basically they will contact the local service provider or their local national uh, internet registry 
or they if, if that particular end user is a big company so basically they can also reach the uh, specific uh, rir as well so mainly it depends but the allocation is done through here from these regions and from there it will be allocated to service borders from there you get the end users so depending upon each country each region we have something like country wise national internet registries this is like country wise registries allocated to specific countries before the end user gets like here you can see the points the RIR divides the allocation addresses into blocks and delegate them to the service borders and the other organizations within that operating regions so if you want to see this uh, allocation like if you try to see the IPv4 allocation space or even there is an IPv4 multicast addresses like you can, here you can see these are the addresses reserved. so this slash head is actually the range and you can see this is reserved for Ford Motor Company and from Erin from here like this these are all the allocations so depending upon the region if I check uh, basically here if I try to uh, reach depending upon the region the public IP will public IP will vary so based on the regions so you can see this uh, autonomous system number allocation also uh, basically from here if I go to INA website, if I go back here, I can also see the IPv6 address space. Even if you want to see the autonomous system numbers, like here, autonomous system numbers, if you click on this link, again, you can see the number ranges here. So more on the autonomous system number we'll be uh, discussing in the routing space. So, so how the end user gets an IP? So if the end user requests the local service border, as I said, so this company is going to request the local service border uh, for the public IP depending upon the size the service border will divide into small sizes and that size we will see in the submitting concepts when we cover in the next class or next topics basically so based on that the service border will divide them into small blocks depends upon the requirement what is requested by the end customer and again if it is an IPv4 IPv6 different blocks are given and the ISP uh, distribute the addresses to its assigned space. Means whatever the range the service product gets from the INA or RIR, basically it will allocate from that to the end customers. So basically the end users, they can get their IP address range either from the service product, they can contact the service product and the service product will allocate whatever it gets from the RIR. Basically, depends upon the region or if you are working for a big uh, corporate environment you can even uh, contact directly from rir so provider independent means now the difference between these two is if you are getting a public ip from your local service border and if you are moving to a different service border then basically you also need to change the ips the public ips you are using but if you are getting the ip from the rir then basically even if you are moving from one service border to another service border you don't need to make any changes so that's the reason most of the big size companies generally they prefer to get their public IPs directly from the RIR so that if they are moving from one ISP to another ISP network then basically they don't need to make any changes to their existing network configurations again if you are if you are a small company basically with a small address space you require then basically you go with a service for so that again depends how you get